Adiba Kamarul Zaman and I'm the Dean of the Medical Faculty at the University of Malaya in Kuala Lumpur. And this is my story. I first went to Australia in 1981. I was at Monash and I did medicine. It was in the early days of the HIV AIDS epidemic and Fairfield was looked at, look, looked upon as, you know, being um, the centre you go to um, if you have HIV AIDS. It, it was very different, it's not just medicine. I mean, um, a lot of the doctors who, who work there kind of put their heart and soul into, into looking after the patients and, you know, and, and in those days there was no, there was no good treatment and uh, we had to palliate, we had to kind of look after patients and care for them in more ways than just their medical condition. I think that Australia played a leadership role in, in many aspects of the HIV response. There was a very comprehensive response beginning from um, community, very strong community involvement and advocacy all the way to world-class research. When I first came back, infectious diseases wasn't quite an entity in Malaysia, so I pretty much had to introduce the specialty here at this hospital. With HIV, that kind of consolidated into a, a specialty, because then, of course, then nobody wants to look after HIV patients, right? So, okay, fine, fine, go and establish your infectious disease so you can look after all these patients no one else wants to look after. Good morning. I was actually diagnosed in 1994 in a private hospital and of course at that time um, th there was no pre-test counselling so I wasn't prepared for the result. The doctor comes in and says that Andrew I'm sorry to tell you that you're HIV positive and the next thing he tells me is you can be discharged. Basically to me it means that there's nothing much I can do for you. Um, just go home and die. When Prof Fadiba came back, she created uh, uh, an area where the patients felt comfortable and the patients felt uh, non-discriminated. It's incredible because I know that they actually care, which is why I've managed to survive for 23 years with this disease and I actually now have a chance to get older. What struck me when I returned here was that the majority of the patients I was looking after in Malaysia had acquired the infection through injecting drug use, which was something that I didn't see at Fairfield. So we wanted to make sure that if they inject, they use their own clean needles and so um, initiated this program where, there, where outreach workers go out to these mostly people in, out in the streets or in the community to supply them with clean needles and get them to dispose of the dirty needles. When we introduced the Needle Syringe Program, um, and as of uh, in, in 2005, 2006, we started seeing a, a steady decline. And by 2015, we're getting um, around two, two and a half thousand new cases a year. It's still a lot by Australian standards, but it has dropped dramatically. I think in any profession, and particularly in medicine, I guess, uh, uh, to be recognised by your peers is really something. So I was honoured um, by my peers in, in Australia, who every year would choose an eminent infectious disease person to come and spend a week in, in Melbourne and uh, go and give lectures at the various uh, hospitals, both Monash and, and Melbourne affiliated hospitals. And I met Adiba many years ago as a medical student at Monash University and then we both ended up at Fairfield Infectious Diseases Hospital. It was the uh, early 90s, so it was just at the beginning of um, the HIV epidemic and Adiba was being trained in clinical research in HIV and she went on to then return to Malaysia and take much of those learnings back with her in her research that she's continued to do and the major advocacy role she's played in influencing public policy towards HIV in particular. And then she's applied many of these skills to a whole range of infectious diseases. As an infectious disease physician, one of the few um, in the country at the time, in the um, mid-90s, meant that I was able to create a whole new discipline that, that has played an, a very important role in Malaysia's development. 